Okay, sit and meditate for a few minutes. And Sean Suat always used to talk about bringing the right attitude to the meditation. And that's a meditation in and of itself. Thinking of things that would put you in the mood to be right here with the breath, not want to go wandering off someplace else. There's contemplation of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Think thoughts of goodwill, how you'd really like to find true happiness, and the only place you're going to find it is right here. And the more you'll be able to find right here, then the more you'll be able to offer help to other people, too. That's a good reflection. You reflect on death. In fact, it could come any time. And you've got to be prepared, because the shape of your mind is, at that point, is going to be really important. So you want to make sure your mind is in good shape and learn how to get it in good shape, even in the midst of difficult situations. The Buddha asks that you have a good mood even as you're dying. Now, most people, that's, they're scared and they're sor sorrowful and all kinds of overwhelming emotions are coming at that point, but you want to be able to get your mind so that it doesn't give in to those feelings and actually can stay confident. Okay, that's going to require work, so you've got, to, you've got work to do right here. You can think about the contemplation of the body, that how the body's not really something you want to identify with anyhow. You open it up inside, and what have you got? What they used to call roadkill pizza in Texas. They had kids at the school buses making a survey of what was killed on the road. And if it was something they couldn't identify, it was the IRP, Unidentified Road Pizza. URP. That's what you got. Is it something you want to identify with? Well, no. You want to identify with the state of your mind. If you have anything you want to identify with, the state of your mind is a good thing, if you can get it in good shape. These are all the contemplations you can do to get yourself in the right mood to meditate. And sometimes, as I said, there are meditation in and of themselves. So think about this as you sit down to meditate, as you do walking meditation, as you go through the day. Any time that you're feeling that you don't want to meditate or you're tired of meditating, remind yourself it's a lot more tiresome to do the other things that would pull you away. And the meditation has a lot more benefits. That way you bring an attitude of confidence and conviction to what you're doing, the desire to do it. And as the Buddha said, the desire to do it well is one of the bases for success. <laughs>